Yeah, at least you get hours of yes. the day to still enjoy it, right? We do. Oh. We got some nice weather right now, so I Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is Trolling Tuesday along with Taco Tuesday, and unfortunately, I have just gotten back home, so I am actually working on our trolling around, or excuse me, taking a look around the NFC East to check the pulse of how everybody's doing, so I've got to get that together. But in the meantime, a couple of things, because I've been gone, haven't had, you know, my 10 videos a day that I get accused of putting up. It's only actually nine, okay? So stop, stop putting false information out there. Um... Interesting thing, actually not really interesting. Last night, uh, during our live stream, we found out that John Gruden, who, that John Gruden was retiring, or excuse me, resigning from the Raiders after more emails came out, and um, it it it's pretty damning. Um, on there, we had some people that said, you know, how can you be responsible for something that happened, you know, 10 years ago? Well, you know, I'm not part of that, that thing that looks back at, you know, guys posted on Twitter when they were 12 years old and stuff and said some stupid things like that. And we're looking at that and that, you know, kind of now that, that that's a little bit different than the way this situation went. Apparently with John Gruden, he talked about everybody from owners, and that's where you <laughs> you don't talk about the owners. You don't talk about the owners. He talked about Roger Goodell. He talked about drafting gay players. He talked about women referees. He sent around pictures of, of Washington cheerleaders topless. He talked about Demora Smith. So it got to be pretty much, I don't know who he didn't offend at this point, but apparently... Especially now they got Tampa Bay and having another Super Bowl. I guess this was made a little bit easier. But Tampa Bay is now erasing John Gruden from their memory as well. They're removing him from the Tampa Bay Ring of Honor. Just like that. They didn't wait 24 hours from him resigning from the Raiders. They've already stated there's no place for John Gruden and his attitude here in Tampa Bay in our ring of honor. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was quick. Uh, I, that, that literally had my head spinning right there when I saw that. I literally got home and I was like, damn, why is Tampa Bay trending? I thought maybe they were saying Tampa Bay, you know, was ranked number one and all that and people were... You know, saying that maybe they shouldn't be or something. And then I click on it, and there it is. Tampa Bay to remove John Gruden from Ring of Honor. It's like, wow. Um, another thing that's kind of interesting. It's a good thing that we, the fans, and I'm just Joe the fan, don't run the organization because... There's a lot of things that we've gone back through and said we're idiots for doing. You know, remember when people were saying we overpaid Zeke Elliott? Man, we should get rid of that guy. Cut him! People wanted us to cut him before the cut deadline so we could save some chatter. Zeke Elliott is on pace for 20 touchdowns right now. Over 1,500 yards and is the third leading back in the NFL. And this is where it's actually really amazing because Tyron Smith, Tyron Smith last year, two games, injured. And every year before, missed three games since 2016. You know, people looked and said, you know, is this the end of Tyron Smith? We should replace Tyron Smith. And, and there's another guy out there that they kind of said the same thing. He had, you know, like a cancerous thing on his 
scalp or on his head. Trent Williams with the Washington football team. The Washington football team, they mess up a lot of things. They mess up a whole lot of things. He got to the point where it's like, I'm done with you. I'm out of here. I'll never play for you guys again. And well, those two are the two highest graded players in the NFL. Two guys that people just basically said they're done. They're, they're no longer players. Get them out of here. In fact, here's how good Tyron Smith is playing. And this is part of the reason why Zeke Elliott is getting all those yards. Tyron Smith, among all offensive tackles, that's all of them. All of the offensive tackles that are in the NFL this year with a minimum of 150 snaps. Guess who's given up the fewest pressures? In five games, Tyron Smith has given up four. Tied with Jonathan Williams. Those two brothers, they rock. In fact, they're rock solid. And that's part of the reason why Zeke Elliott and Tony Pollard are running the way they are is because those guys are opening up big ass holes along with some of their friends. They're getting it done. And that's all you can want. One other thing before I get out of here and get back to my troll, I've got to find the right clips and stuff on here. A little bit tired at the moment, but you know, we got to take care of business. Diggs, who has six interceptions on the season, has only been giving up I think 38% QBR. I don't know why people are even throwing in his direction. How good has Diggs been? Diggs has more interceptions, I believe, than 27 teams. Let me say that again. Diggs has more interceptions by himself. than 27 teams. Freaking amazing. So, that's where we are. Um, before I get out of here, a little update. Um, Stuart Morrison, he's going to be in the hospital for a while. Um, I mentioned him briefly last night to put him in your thoughts and prayers. <sighs> he's... Um, He's got an infection that's in his foot. Stewart is actually in a wheelchair. He's got an infection in his foot that they're going to have to do multiple surgeries on. They're going to try and save as much of the leg as they can, but it looks like at least the right bone on the outside of his foot, as well as pinky toe, are definitely going to be removed, and they're going to see how bad the infection and stuff is. Um, I have his the hospital in the hospital room. Um, if anybody wants to send him a get well card or, you know, Cowboys poster or something like that. Um, he will be in there for, for a little bit of time while they try and get this infection under control. And, um, I think it'd be nice if you have time and, and means to, you know, look out for somebody else. Stewart has been, um, a blessing and a godsend, uh, to this channel between him and Roz. I can't thank the two of them enough for all the work they've done on the discord channel. Uh, we don't always all see eye to eye, but in the end, it's really about people and individuals and nobody knows what's going on on the other side of the camera and somebody's life and people were dealing with all kinds of things. And it behooves us to try and be a positive influence for everybody. So with that being said, <laughs> I'm positive when we get back to this troll video because I, I, I love misery. <laughs> I love misery when it comes to the, the competition in our division. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'll catch you later.